I've timed this perfectly because Rob is telling me I have two more songs and I have two more songs, which uh, usually I'm a little bit over because I'm a bit ambitious like that. Um, oh, so this next one is also one that I've written and you guys are super lucky because although this doesn't feature on my, uh, my, the normal version of my EP that everyone can stream online, um, there's a special edition of it tonight and this is actually uh, one of the tracks. Um, and uh, if you're local, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Uh, again, the historian in me couldn't resist writing this song. It's about the wyvern legend in Wells. Um, we had a dragon that was plaguing Wells and we were very lucky because a very talented and brave bishop from the local area called Bishop Jocelyn slew the wyvern. Um, so I uh, written a song in his honour because there weren't any. So. <laughs> Turn that off before I start. There, it's making noise now. <laughs> yeah, no, that is right. <sighs> Way up in the midst of the Mandipils, above the black moorland peaks, there's a fear. The sky and the land do meet where the sky and the land do meet. He's got slippery scales and sharp dagger teeth set deep in his grisly jaw. As he stalks his prey over the moors, as he stalks his prey over the moors, and he'll come for your daughters, he'll come for your sons, he'll come for your cows and your sheep. God send us a hero, able to keep. Safe from the man dip Champions came from miles about to slay the murderous worm from the marshes of valor and the castle at Dunster. But all of them came to great harm, and all of them came to great harm. But none of these knights, no matter how fierce, could slay the murderous beast until holy man the son and bishop of Wells, that fine bold warrior priest, that fine bold warrior priest, and he'll come. Come for your cat. 
but he kept on his amethyst ring with a brown hooded cloak and a staff made of oak. He's away to the Fallon Lurs well spring. He's away to the Fallon Lurs spring. And the dragon and Jocelyn fought by the wells for nearly two hours or three until Jocelyn struck off the head of the worm and held it aloft. 